Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to uh, talk about cops some more. Um, this time in uh, California, a few bad apples with the uh, California Highway Patrol, according to uh, prosecutors there. Um, I was unaware of this situation when I made the Austin video, but it all kind of ties in together. Okay, so the uh, prosecutors there, they allege they have uncovered a few bad apples. And it originated with an investigation into the East Los Angeles station and activities that date from 2016 to 2018. Um, now, it has taken this long to uh, kind of come forward and come to light because the few bad apples, well, they worked with some some more bad apples, um, according to prosecutors. And the supervisors, who would be the people who would normally catch the the bad apples, uh, prosecutors are alleging that they were they were they were also bad apple. Fifty four. There were fifty four bad apples, according to prosecutors. Um, they are set to be arraigned March seventeenth and eighteenth. Fifty four cops. 302 counts, $226,000, I believe. Uh, prosecution is alleging that there was an overtime scheme going on. They would show up to work a detail, work three or four hours, and say they worked eight. The prosecution is also alleging that in order to make this seem a little bit more real, that the bad apples wrote fake warning tickets and uh, file reports saying that they gave assistance to drivers. Um, on top of all of this, some of them were also alleged to be involved in a bribery scheme dealing with gray market exotic cars as well. Uh, Prosecution is alleging that they falsified records for them. Uh, that that's a that's a lot of bad apples. That that's a lot of bad apples. Um, this kind of just fits right in with our earlier topic: law enforcement losing the benefit of the doubt because the public no longer believes the reports because the reports rarely match. The cell phone cameras and in this case <laughs> there aren't any cell phone cameras because the state is alleging that the reports are fictitious uh, the uh, this atmosphere of the public just failing to give officers the benefit of the doubt is probably going to become a recurrent theme this is a moment for law enforcement to change. That, that's what this is. In the last 24 hours, you have news breaking of more than 70 cops getting arrested. That's wild. Um, it, it's probably time, past time, to rethink policing in this country, move towards consent-based policing, move towards limiting the, the stuff that we dump on law enforcement. Okay, this is your job, even though they're not trained to do it. Reallocating some of the funding and putting it towards people that may be better trained to deal with that. And coming up with a little bit of a better oversight system so we're not finding out and uh, finally seeing accountability for actions that occurred in 2016 in, in 2022. Um, you know, at this point, it is worth noting that these actions are alleged. In fact, they haven't even been arraigned yet. But that's, that's a whole lot of bad apples to be alleged. Anyway... It's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.